What up, though, y'all? I'm back at work, board again, so I'm going to do another little short story time. Today, I'm going to talk about the time that I fell out of my truck while I was driving. Yeah, you heard what I said. I fell out of my truck while I was driving. It's crazy, though. But let's get straight to it. So, it had to be probably about 2018 or 2019, something like that. We all over my friend Chubb's house uh, in the Newmans. If you're from Pontiac, you know where the Newmans is, the, N the New News, the NLP, whatever you want to call it or whatever. But yeah, we all over there at his apartment uh, in Ratchet City. He used to call his apartment Ratchet City, though. But it did used to get pretty ratchet over there, but I'll talk about that in another story. But anyway, though, so we all over there chilling, smoking and drinking and stuff. There's females over there. We just over there kicking and having a good time like we always did, though. You know what I'm saying? And um, I had drunk a little bit too much this day, so I had caught the spins. My head had got the spinning. So I'm in the kitchen with my head down on the table or whatever. And then I hear like a little bit of commotion break out or whatever. And it's jizzle because I can hear his voice. All I hear is him, oh, hell no, nah. oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> if you know jizzle, his voice is super funny, though. But I hear him over there causing commotion or whatever going on. Then I hear a little bit of tussling, but I ain't get up to see what's going on or nothing. I'm over there head spinning. I'm fried, you know what I'm saying? So that's thing, you know, somebody come tapping me on my shoulder, talking about, hey, bro, bro, uh... Hey, man, come take Jizzle to the crib. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm like, man, boy, what? Boy, I'm frizzled. Get out of here. Boy, you gonna leave me alone? He like, man, take him to the crib before the police come. Then I'm like, all right, man. Y'all some horrible friends, too, boy, for making me dry like that. Y'all know I was wasted. But anyway, though, so uh, we hop in my truck. I had this all-white pickup truck, this big pickup truck. Bro. It was a real work truck, though, bro. It was all-white with the one long seat in there that's it with the back little thing that you can put stuff in or whatever but a real pickup truck in my uh so we hop in my truck or whatever i'm so fried i'm like parked on the outskirt like chubb lived in the corner apartment so you could also park on the outskirt or you could turn to the parking lot and park i was parked on the outskirt street and then my homeboy scotty was parked behind me and there was a couple cars behind him or whatever so i go to i'm thinking i put the car in drive but i really put it in reverse not knowing i'm fried I put the car in gear and hit the gas thinking I'm about to go for it. That mother went backwards on me. I done, boom, and ran in the Scotty car shit. So I done hit Scotty car like, boom. Just look at me like, son, pull off, son, pull off, son, pull off, son. So I'm like, oh, shit, fuck it. My drug butt. Just slapped that boy in the drive and pulled off. So now we headed to uh, Jizzle House to drop him off in the hills or whatever. So we coming from the Newman. So you know we got to make that left right there on the um, off Emerson on the University. And then you take university down the bay. So I done made the left on the university. I go down past the casters. Then I get to Bay Street. So now it's time for me to make the right on to Bay to, to into the hills to drop Jizzle off. You know what I'm saying? So whole time though, my truck, it was an old work truck, bro. So the door was messed up on it. So if you hit the wrong bump or something the wrong way, the door swing open though. You know what I'm saying? So I done made the right on to Bay. Boom, the door swings open. I'm so, I'm drunk. So I'm still driving though. So I tries to grab the door with my left hand and close it. But when I go to grab it, I miss. I done fell out that bitch, floop, floop, onto the ground. All I see is like, all, all I know is I'm rolling on the ground like super fast, like, like that. And all I see is like the ground sky, the ground sky. I just, floop, 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 just roll it up. And the funniest part about the story though, so the whole time I'm rolling on the ground, I hear Jizzle like, duh. That's what he kept on doing though. While I'm rolling on the ground, I hear him saying that as the truck keep rolling though. And then it went into these people yard, like kind of on their front yard, but not all the way. That was Deli B Grandma yard too. But Jizzle had hopped in the uh in the uh like on the on the driver's side and like grabbed the steering wheel with turned it though and put his foot on the brake so it ain't go all the way in the yard, but like a little bit though, like on the curve a little bit. So by this time I done I just stopped rolling and hopped up like eh. I done hopped up and ran to my truck down and hop in there though. Just was looking at me all crazy like, son, what the, boy, what's wrong with you, son? So I'm like, boy, if I, I wouldn't even be out here if I wouldn't have to drop your goofy ass off you in there fighting or whatever the fuck you doing. So I just went around the corner, dropped him off at the crib. And, uh, he like, you gonna be all right to drive back, son? I'm like, boy, I'm already out here now, yeah. So I started, I didn't even go home. I went back over Trill's house. I had to tell Scotty I had hit his car and drunk. He had cussed me out of everything. But yeah, that was the time I fell out of my truck while I was driving, though. Being young and dumb.